I have a few circuit boards like DIY kits laying around so just wanted to try them out so this one is uh, some sort of a high voltage circuit let's see what's uh, inside So this is a circuit, pretty much uh, explanatory, very simple, a switch, a simple resistor, a transistor which reads uh, nothing, there is nothing on the transistor so it's uh, probably the cheapest transistor out there the heat sink a screw for the heat sink a zip tie to hold uh, this transformer so this is the high voltage transformer this is the secondary sides and uh, the transformer has uh, two thin wires and two thick wires over here so let's assemble this piece, okay? Mm, yeah, it's not much, just a transistor which uh, oscillates based on these uh, little transformers or the inductors and the resistor. So I gotta put this resistor and I don't know where the resistor goes. Okay, 120 here. From Tori, yeah, this is the resistor. And then I have to put the capacitor diode. And diode polarity should be here like this. I prefer components uh, laying around like this I can also put like this it's uh, not a good idea this one is more stable and yeah if I put this and screw it up a lot uh, tight make it too tight okay so hopefully it goes like this and like this amazing and the power switch it is two terminals so it should fit like this okay after this my soldering iron is ready And uh, like this, and this one, I'll put 
it like this one. Yeah. Okay. So I just want to attach itself a little bit here. Okay. Once it's attached a little bit, I can solve it properly. component and that is and that is this uh, transformer I'm not too sure Okay, I think I need to take care of the inner and outer wires as well, so I believe this uh, should be the outer wire and the outer wire is this one. And these two are the inner wires. Okay, so these two must go like this these two are common like this and I think it's time for the zip tie to come in here such a quick and easy in the wrong order should be like this and easy like this like this and like this so I would want to make sure that these are properly peeled off this wires because there is an enamel on top of these wires Try to first solder these wires, and then come to the contact points. Nope. You can see like it's not coming up properly attaching.
Okay, so it's a little bit better now. And I think it should work. If it doesn't work, I'll just uh, resolder it after. Okay. Showing off my worst following skills actually. Uh, that's it. Good button. And then I need to connect two wires. And luckily I got two wires. So since I don't remember the rated voltage, so I would say I will just start with the 5 volts and see if it shows me some spark. My good old power supply is here. And I'll just connect the five volts here. Yeah, so let's turn it on. some noise oh yes you see that it seems to be really powerful Let me turn it on. Good. 
can hear the sound and the smoke. Oh my god. <laughs> There's literally smoke of this plastic all over my room. Wow, this is quite powerful. I didn't expect that. Quite a significant spark in here. You can see the contrast. So with that, this circuit is also a success. Thumbs up if you like the journey. Thank you very much.